I did not grow up going to church. I started going in college after a regular couple at the restaurant that I served at invited me. I attended and then I received a call from a college pastor. He had me pray the prayer with him and I was saved. I celebrated after work by going out to Bennigan's and getting drunk underage. Yeah. <laughs> I worked for this church and for the College of Recreation Ministry. Some unethical things happened, not involving me, but to keep their jobs, the ministers let me go. I grew very bitter and angry towards them and towards church due to the situation. In the meantime, my husband got saved and wanted to check out Cornerstone. Still extremely bitter towards the idea of church, I went but was angry the whole time. He decided he wanted to attend here and I was upset mostly because I didn't trust anyone from churches anymore. Sermon after sermon I heard for Penter Parish and Turner Burn. I realized I didn't want to spend an eternity in hell, so I did my best to repent and make changes in my life. All this was on my own strength, so it didn't last long. I realized I wasn't saved, and I tried to bow peacefully, but was confronted several times before leaving. These confrontations left me even more bitter and angry towards churches, especially this one. Anytime my husband mentioned Cornerstone, I could feel my heart race and anger build. Even with all this, my conscience was continually being pricked. I had started listening to sermons and knew I should be at church, so I begged him to let us go to another church where I didn't know anyone and didn't hate everyone. He declined, so I started attending sporadically. When I went, I made sure he knew the rule. No eye contact, no talking to anyone when service was over. It was straight to the car. I continued to listen to sermons and started hearing about God's grace and forgiveness, something I felt always related to easy believism. I also heard for the first time about Jesus' Jesus's finished work on the cross. If I was to put my faith and belief in the work that and live for him, in the work that he did and live for him, I would be saved. I prayed for at least a year for God to change my heart and save me. I eventually realized I was still holding on to bitterness and anger, and it clicked. Why would God save me and forgive me when I had not forgiven those who I believed wronged me? So I prayed for months for God to help me forgive and love those people I was so embittered towards. I can't tell you when it happened, but one day I realized that the pit in my stomach going to church was gone. Those people I was so angry at crossed my mind when as I prayed and I felt compelled to pray for them. I didn't feel the need to run when sermons were done. When people approached me, I actually wanted to talk. When they had needs, I felt compelled to help. God truly worked a miracle in me. I'm so thankful to God for the gift of salvation he has given me. So thankful for the new heart. And thank you to all of you who have prayed for me over the years. Amen.